Hey, Wonder Wolves here. Um, it's actually Thursday. I'm actually doing this in the morning for work. So, um, I'm drinking coffee. Sorry. It's nothing in it either. It's just coffee. So, so I got my books. It's not too many. It's really a really small week. I got my bling bling. Mm hmm. And I get my bags and boards, and that's all I got left. I think I have to pick up some up next week. Okay. So since I have, I'm ready to go. Taking another sip. Can you, do you hear that? Okay. Get my split screen. Stay in frame. <laughs> Here we go. First one. Ooh, almost did that right. No, um, to me. There you go. All right, get my candles down. Okay. Dogs of War from Aftershock number four. So, this started as uh, the mafia in London in the 60s, you know, the swinging. Hey, baby. You, know, you want a swag? Okay, any uh, shag, swag? I don't know what the hell the thing is. Anyways, so, um, and now it's becoming, um, couple of guys from that gang um, now they're older and stuff from their past is, is coming back to haunt them um, they would call it so they, the gang was called the dogs so dogs of London and members that the um, of dogs who died so I'm saying they died um, in the 60s are coming back and um, they haven't aged. It's number four. I think there's... Oh, put the hands down. Uh, the number four. Um, I think there's five issues in this. So this is more of a trade read. It wasn't. It's not a bad read at all. Um, Peter McGillan is doing the writing. And uh, Artie Cheetah? Cheetah? I don't know. C-I-D-A. Um, Sitta? How do you, yeah, who cares? Anyways, he's doing the, um, the, the well, he cares. I, I think his mother cares too, but um, is doing the uh, the art. It's a more of a um, reading a trade type of thing since it's already four in, um, five issues. So um, pick it up as a trade. I'm enjoying it. Um, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Oh, see, look, it's one of the guys. They got, they got like, no, no they only get the whites. So, um, I'm enjoying it. If you want to see, if you see it as a trade, pick it up. If you want to read the floppies, read the floppies. I mean, I'm not jumping for joy for this one, I think, you know, but it's not a bad read. It's not a bad story. It's a little twist than what I thought it was. there this is the last book I a new book that I picked up this week I told you it was a small week mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there you go uh, Moon Knight black white and red it's the one of those setups that Marvel's doing there's like three stories in a book uh, this is the fourth one not sure if there's gonna be a fifth um, very limited colors let's see the black white or red They've done this with um, with other characters, um, but you know it's it, you get a little, it's get a little piece. You know, it's something I used to do years ago. Oh um, yeah, this next book is kind of the idea of what they did years ago because uh, it's a back issue. So um, I, it's number four. If you like the like the character, you pick it up because it's the character in every story. Not much to say about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all the next, well, the rest of them, actually, are all back issues that I've been picking up. And like I said, this is the basically the same idea as the Moon Knight. Okay, the Witching Hour. You got you can't beat these seventies horror. You can't beat it for the covers. I mean. 
This one's this one needs a clean, that's for sure, and I can't get it in frame. <laughs> I can mock. I, I, if my wife wouldn't kill me while drawing on this counter, I'd mock it. But anyways, um, you can't beat it for the covers. You can't. Um, the art. Let's look this up. Like I said, it needs a cleaning. You know, it's yellow. But what do you expect? I mean, it's from 1971. You know what I'm saying? Hell, I was what? Six? But there's three different stories in here. Let me do it this way. There you go. Freddy is, is another name for freak. And then you have this one. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Who did the art in this one? Oh, yeah, I think Wally Wood did the art in this first one. I might be wrong. Yeah, no, Wally Wood. So, I mean, you're getting some names. You know, Wally Wood at the time, I think he was just still doing Daredevil. He just got off doing Daredevil. So... I don't know who's doing the art. 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 Seth. Doing the art on that one. And this is the second story. That's still Freddy the Freak. There you go. Oh, what? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not a Mark Jules. Sorry. Um, and this one is probably somebody I can't pronounce his name. I don't see who did the art in this. Well, it's okay. Someone did the art. Um, I love this old, this old horror. I just love the that type of stuff. I mean, I like the Daredevils, and I and I you know I love Daredevil, and I love you know like uh, the Fantastic, you know, Fantastic, you know the Thor's, Fantastic Four's, Silver Surfer, you know all those characters. Um, but I enjoy the. I'll pick up one of these every time. Every time. I don't know if I can. No, I'll I'll scan these later. Is that there? Okay. Brave and the Bold, number one thirty-nine. Batman and Hawkman. I think um, Paro does um, does all the art and the ones I, I picked up. Yeah, he does, Jim. Yeah, so these are also ones I'll always pick up. I mean, what year? I mean, this was what seventy-eight. I love the. I just love DC in the in the seventies. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think so. If you look at what I picked up, um, I, I'm. I love these brave and the bulls. From I love them. You get you get the two. The two characters in there, you know, they're meeting each other. It's the same thing that Marvel did, you know, the two and one stuff like that. So, oh, this has a barcode. I wonder if this will work. And you could pick up a Superman watch and a Wonder Woman watch and a Batman. Look at these things. Come on! But there's nothing like these. There isn't. Let's see if I can grab that. Okay, so let's see. Came up weird. This is what? It's a 139. No, it's not even in here. Yeah, so I'll have to take that out. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll take that out. Don't worry about it. Next one. Need a coffee. Another Brave and the Bold. It's 19. It's 19. It's 133. Batman and who else? The Dead Man. Come on. Again, same person doing the art. Um, roughly the same time. That was 139. So this is 133. Now, six months earlier. Still great art. I, I, I haven't read them, so I don't you know if the story is, is good or not. I don't know, but I just... I'm trying to get the run. I'm trying my best to get the run. And I'm not going to hit this... Oh, wait a minute. Is, is 133 in here? Why, yes. Yes, Tony, it is. So, I'll do that. 
There you go. Done. Oh, let's put this in this pile because it. No, no, let's put it in that pile. Okay. Oh God, we have another one. <laughs> All right, so we got um, Brave and the Bold, 145, Batman and Phantom Stranger, another one, one of my favorites. Uh, again, same person doing the art. So uh, I guess he did a block of these uh, in the 70s. So this is probably 1979, maybe catching uh, an 80. No, it's 78. Wow. Hot diggity. Oh, that, wait a minute. So that means that this dead man, 77, late 77. I mean, this is a good condition. Hot diggity. 77. I'm good some of the times. But ask me, I'm excellent, I'm excellent all the time. Okay. Last two. Uh, Flash. <laughs> all right, Flash. 306. Uh, there's a there's a gap uh, 306 through 313 that they did a um, a backstory with with uh, Doctor Fate. So I got it seems like I got two of these. So there's so it's a flash story mainly, and you'll maybe get maybe ten pages of a of a Doctor Fate book. Um, so there you go. This is one is 306. So yeah. Premiering this issue. Hey, okay. So maybe it's 306, not 303. 306 to 313. Did I say that? I don't know. Anyways, so premiering. Yeah, because this is this. Okay. Premiering Dr. Fate. So this is the first issue with him in it. Um, I think it's the same order on both of these. So I love the back issues. I can't know how many times I'm gonna tell you. It's like I'm like a drinking game. Oh, look! I'm gonna, I said love. I'm gonna drink. Uh, let me see what happens if I flag this one. Let's no, it's frozen. Okay, there you go. I'll do it later. Okay. And last but not least, Flash 308. Again, now this is plus Dr. Fate. So yes, it had to be 306. I was wrong this time. <laughs> I'm wrong all that time. Who's kidding me? Okay, so that you know, I'm like I said, I'm trying to get the back issues. I see one in good shape, I'll pick it up. And that's it. Short and sweet, less than 15 minutes. It's a short train wreck. This must have been a small train, I guess, I don't know. So, thanks everybody. Um, just enjoy your Thursday. Well, wait, hold on. I hope you enjoyed your Thursday, and I hope you enjoy your Friday, and the weekend, and Monday if you have it off. And look, I'm sweating. Um, because you're going to see this at, you know, 7 o'clock. <laughs> it's a train wreck time. Um, 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 hit, the, hit the bell. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Thumbs up or thumbs down. I always have to call out Simple Simon and Captain Sorrow. You got to do that. They do it to me. I got to do it to them thing is, I don't put that picture there because I don't do any editing. I just mumble. Babble. Uh, so their stuff will be in the description down, down below. Um, have, a great, have a great evening. See ya.